Open the hatch. No, but I went inside. What do you mean with decorative? Huh. Anyway, this panther is made by Kobe in the scale of roughly 1 to 48 as part of their historical collection. For 19 euro they give you 249 pieces, 66 of them for the tracks. Those 66 pieces and the gears make it an incredible smooth running tank by the way. And included are 5 prints, 4 on the turret and 1 on the roof of the hull. I think the price is okay. 16 would have been the sweet spot, but anything under 20 is alright in my opinion. The part quality is amazing, as usual with Kobe. The tiles are shining and the parts have a very good clamping force. Honestly, I think theirs have the best in the industry. The only downside to their parts are the divots from the molding process. If it's on a shelf, you won't notice. But when you look closer, they're pretty damn obvious. It comes in this box. Here's the front with the standard picture. Here the side where they show the size of the model and here, pet printed, no stickers which is great. And on the back, a small summary of the real tank's technical information. However, I put them on screen anyway for better readability. The same on the cover of the manual. In the manual, the former steps are decolored and everything is shown in easy short steps of a few parts per step. Which brings me to the building part. It is a very easy build, so no problem for younger or inexperienced builders. And I found it was a relaxed and enjoyable build time for me. And now, finally, on to the tank. The size with a length of 17 cm and the width of 7 cm is as advertised on the box. With a height of 6.5 cm to the deco hatch. The turret movement is just right. Loose enough for posing, but not too loose so the turret won't swing when the tank is moved. The main gun is much the same where only a drop will move it. And that is the only thing that might move. So, the stability is great enough that little Timmy can live out all his world conquering fantasies with this while taking his sister's Barbies hostage. All in all, I can recommend this one to everyone. Because the only downside I can think of is a missing hatch for my feathery butt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get a flame cutter and make my own hatch. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for me. And if you want me to cover any other set, say which you like to see in the comments. See you soon again and bye!